Hey y'all, and welcome back to RSS Macklin. I'm Alex Ganny, and today we're gonna look at how to set up the second operation roll. First thing we're going to do is take our designated station, in this case, station one. We're then going to rotate it into the second operation band. As we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and take a little precaution, take out our paint stick, we're gonna roll it down. I wanna make sure that this bad boy isn't spinning as I'm rotating the machine. If it does, stop immediately, bring the roll out. You do not want to contact the chuck. Now that we have station one and the second operation band, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have the right tools. Two sets, box M wrenches. 13 sixteenths and a five sixteenths. Two sets of Allen keys, quarter inch, and a 1 8. A set of feeler gauges, and of course, you can't forget your RSS Macklin pin height gauge. Now that I have everything in place, I'm going to loosen up my set screw with my 1 8 Allen key. Grab my box end, put it in position, hold the Allen key in place. Break it free. Now that I have everything broken free, I'm gonna use my RSS Macklin pin height gauge. Go ahead and set it underneath, the, between the chuck and the roll. Okay. Castle dust broken, set screws loose. Grab my box in. I'm gonna rotate clockwise or to the left as I spin the roll to make sure that I'm not making any contact. I've now touched the chuck. I stop, I go back the other direction, just a hair. There we go. I'm gonna set my dial to zero. And I'm gonna continue raising it till I hit five thousandths. Understand that your Allen key here is what we're going to use to adjust the worm or the adjustment screw in order to bring the roll in. Grab my 13 thousandths feeler gauge. This is what I'm starting off with. Place it into the lip right here. So all I'm gonna do is give it a slight turn until I feel a little bit of drag. There we go. Remove my Allen key. And then from there, place my box end on. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold my Allen key in position. Make sure it's firm and tighten. I'm gonna verify to make sure there was no mistakes done here. Oh, perfect drag. Go through, I already know my height's set correctly. Go through, tighten up my set screw, nice and firm. And from here, guys, we're gonna run a couple cans through, see what our measurement's at, compare it to our ball, our dog, Crown, MCC, whatever your can manufacturer is, we're gonna go ahead and reference that second operation thickness and determine whether or not we need to increase the feeler gauge if it's a little too tight or reduce the feeler gauge if it's a little too loose. And then from there, we just continue on forward. And thank you guys for visiting us here at RSS Macklin. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you need some information, you wanna take your machine to the next level, come see us at RSS Macklin Training with Anthony Ganning. Or if you like, we can come see you guys. Thank you.